All right. Uh, thank you very much for including me uh, as a, one of the speaker of this combating an antibiotic resistance with high concentration level of fluoxacin. I will talk a bit of a higher concentration of the level fluoxacin you called OFTA kicks 1.5%. My name is Shigeru Kinoshita uh, from Kyoto, Japan. Well, there are three key uh, principles of ocular infection treatment, RE intervention and broad antibacterial spectrum and hit bacteria properly and strongly. So these are the key. Well, bacteria is uh, like a time bomb. Uh, within um, the one day, uh, 24 hours, they will multiply up to uh, like a 200 million, just started from one box. So we, when we are talking or thinking about ocular surface infection, I myself will divide into two uh, major categories. One is a commensal bacteria, uh, including Staphylococcus species or Streptococcus and Enterococcus fecaris, and so on. And the other uh, uh, group is environmental bacteria, such as Pseudomonas aeruginosa and Selatia species. These two are making the corneal infection. Well, these are the four major uh, corneal infections. Gram-positive staph aureus, streptococcus pneumoniae, and this is Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and this is Moraxella. So uh, all these four uh, have a, a bit different uh, ocular surface manifestation at early phase already. When we uh, had a national survey uh, uh, many years ago in Japan, uh, corneal infection has two peaks of age, at least in Japan, with or without contact lens usage. Uh, around 20s to 30s, there's one peak in a younger age, and the other is the 60s. Contact lens-related infection is dominant under the 30s uh, years of age. One, uh, you could uh, uh, treat the contact lens uh, uh, coronary infection uh, very easily with the use of the, some of the antimicrobial agent, but some of them are very severe coronary infection occurred. What kind of bugs or the organism is related? One is a Pseudomonas aeruginosa, the other is Acanthamoeba. Once again, we uh, Japanese uh, our, our corneal uh, the, uh, surgeons had a, a national survey at that time. Uh, these two are the key for the difficult to treat. Both of them are related to the environmental pathogens, not the commensal bacteria. Well. This is the, uh, I cited from the A6 uh, microorganism distribution by country by country. You could see, uh, since I belong to uh, Japan, uh, we have more uh, gram-positive bacteria, uh, I would say, uh, I think uh, somewhat uh, related to the coronary infection. But the other uh, South Asian countries, they have a more uh, of the gram-negative bacteria. And also in India, you have many gram-negative bacterial coronary infection as well. Well, we are targeting staff aureus because in, in Japan there are uh, senior persons and also uh, the, there's some of the trauma or the, 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 the long use of the steroid eye drops and uh, the senior persons. They are kind of a compromised host. So uh, we have more stuff over else, especially MLSA. But also we have a Pseudomonas aeruginosa as well. So these are closely, uh, co I would say, related uh, to the, the use of the soft contact lens, especially two weeks soft contact lens. Well, uh, back to the uh, quinolones. Uh, the, in Japan, uh, the Santen Pharmaceutical Company released the Kurabit, so-called the name Kurabit ophthalmic solution, 0.5% 20 years ago. And then 10 years later, they uh, developed the ophthalmic solution Kurabit 1.5% release. So we have about a 10 years experience of the use of the 1.5% level of uh, eye drops. 
What's a fluoroquinolones? loans? You've already uh, know that broad spectrum antimicrobial reagent, and uh, the key is a concentration dependent bactericidal activities. And they are uh, bind and inhibit DNA gyrus and topo isomelase 4. This is all you've already understand that. But this one slide is a key for the understanding of the uh, level, the effectiveness of the level for accessing. There are two types of the antimicrobial agent. One is a concentration dependent. The other is a time dependent. The, the probably the, the famous uh, the drugs of the time dependent is a vancomycin. Well, neoquinolone belongs to the concentration dependence. What's a concentration dependent? Concentration dependent antimicrobial uh, 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 the, uh, drugs, uh, the higher the Cmax or the greater the AUC, the more effective uh, concentration dependent antimicrobials are. So that there's a key three, uh, I, I would say, uh, the, the terms, Cmax, MIC, and AUC. Time-dependent antimicrobial agent, uh, on the other hand, they are the longer the time above MIC, the more effective time-dependent antimicrobials are. So once again, Cmax is a key, uh, and also AUC is a key uh, for the new quinolones. Well, label, uh, they, uh, I would say, inhibit the DNA gyrase and also the topoisomelase 4. Let's look at the, uh, the, these, uh, the uh, first generation, second generation, and the uh, third generation of the quinolones and fourth generation of the quinolones. Third generation of the quinolones does not, does not, it does not mean that that is weaker or that that is, is not so effective than the fourth generation. For instance, I would like to show you, uh, this is the very important uh, uh, the data uh, released uh, in Japan, Begamox Ophthalmic Solution interview form. This is official interview form released in Japan. Please take a look at the uh, pseudo uh, uh, monas aeruginosa, uh, the sensitivity, MIC. You could see moxifloxacin and levofloxacin. Levofloxacin is far sensitive to the Pseudomonas aeruginosa in terms of the uh, MIC of the Pseudomonas aeruginosa. There's another uh, report, uh, uh, I think a release uh, from the other uh, elsewhere. Label is once again sensitive than uh, the moxifloxacin. Uh, the label is sensitive than moxi. And also, uh, this is a kind of a comparative study of the penetration in rabbits after topical menstruation uh, because the, uh, this is anterior chamber concentration in rabbits, single dose uh, unit of uh, the use. You could see uh, this is moxie and this is 1.5% uh, rebel. This is 0.5% rebel and the other quinolones. Uh, um, uh, I would say moxie and the rebel, uh, there's almost equal or uh, this area and the rebel is higher uh, concentration in the anterior chamber. So therefore 1.5% has a very uh, meaningful things. 1.5% uh, the kurabit, this is the, um, you called off the quicks. So uh, this is the concentration is almost the same as the uh, moxifloxacin. And also off the quicks is more sensitive uh, uh, to the pseudomonas aeruginosa. Well, I'd like to show you uh, several uh, example. Pseudomonas day zero, uh, severe eye pain, pifola, FIBAP, and uh, uh, you could see that, and uh, you could say the uh, the off the quicks 1.5 percent every 30 minutes. Day one, they already have a very good response, and then uh, uh, becoming the uh, I would say the, uh, the the improvement. 
a very good improvement of the ocular surface. So this is another case of the Pseudomonas, very early stage, day zero. We found that uh, this is a Pseudomonas, and then uh, you could see after the one month of the treatment by the levofloxacin in 1.5%, cornea is almost uh, become transparent. So this is the another case you could see Usually, uh, how to use the after kicks, 1.5%, uh, 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 day zero, every 30 minutes, uh, followed by the every one hour for the next couple of days or so. And from the day four to seven, every uh, two to three hours. So that means six times per day. And then one week after the initial treatment, we, uh, uh, I would say we, uh, use four times per day or so. So this is a typical, our uh, standard uh, protocol of the use of the level of roxacin. Day zero, day three, Day seven, once again, this is a pseudomonas albinosa. Of course, uh, the uh, rebofloxacin is effective to the other type of the, the bacteria, such as the uh, um, uh, stuff overalls as well. Well, this is once again, day zero. Uh, this is a contact lens users, color contact lens users. Left eye is okay, but not right eye. Cor right eye has already had a coronary infection. And then day two and day 26. Well, uh, if we see the severe case of the coronary infection, we almost always use the Arebo 1.5% as the first choice in Japan. Well, I'd like to show you uh, the, some of the data, clinical efficacy and safety, and also penetration and PK data, and broad spectrum of the bacterial coverage, including Pseudomonas species of the level 1.5% called Ofta Quicks in India. Well, this is a peak concentration of the level 1.5% generally higher than three other fluoroquinolone, including gachi, moxi, uh, or so. And this is a cornea, this is a acus humor, and this is anterior vitreous. And also the peak concentration of the level 1.5% were higher than, once again, three other fluoroquinolones in uh, key ocular tissue of the labitis on single use and repeat instruction. You could see once again, the uh, rebo is higher. Rebo is higher than the other uh, quinolones. Well, this is a very interesting uh, studies, uh, uh, I think performed uh, in uh, Europe. Uh, this is uh, before the cataract surgery, uh, they are randomized that the patient and the patient use either the level of fluoxacin 1.5% four times daily or moxie fluoxacin 0.5% four times daily. And then uh, day four, uh, at the time of the surgery, uh, just immediately before the cataract surgery, uh, aspirate the uh, correct the acus humor and to see the concentration of the uh, uh, acus uh, humor. So, and then a significant, there's a significant difference in favor with the level of roxacin, uh, 1.5%, uh, and a mean acus humor uh, drug concentration over time uh, with a moxifloxacin. You could see uh, one hour, two hours, four, six hours before uh, in a acus humor. Well, this is a kind of clinical response of the rebel of roxacin uh, to the uh, uh, many uh, different uh, kinds of the bugs or so, gram-positive, gram-negative, and anaerobic bacteria. 100% response and very effective in most of the, most of the bacteria you could see. <laughs> Well, and then uh, what about the uh, adverse uh, reaction? 
Adverse reaction. This is also the sensitive because the 1.5 percent of the rebel frog assassin. You may think this is uh, uh, too much. Um, they may uh, produce the some of the corneal epithelial or corneal endothelial uh, damage or so. So therefore, uh, we uh, had a subjective uh, the symptom first. So uh, eye irritation, eye uh, prurias, dysgeia, urticaria. There are some, but uh, uh, five out of 238 patients, uh, uh, that is 2.1%. And uh, uh, I think this is phase three clinical trial data. Very minimal. And then uh, this is uh, the wide spectrum of the antibacterial coverage. Rebo covered uh, most of the negative, gram negative gram positive and anaerobic and including pseudomonas eugenoser but not moxifloxacin moxi does not include the, the effectiveness of the pseudomonas uh, eugenoser or so and the cytotoxicity profile. One more time, I'd like to show you uh, this data. Cytotoxicity in culture, culture corneal endothelial cell. That is lowest among among the other uh, new quinolones. So, so therefore, effects of the four quinolone on wound healing. This is wound healing in corneal endothelial cells. Uh, we would say that uh, this is less. Uh, adverse effect uh, of the cytotoxicity uh, uh, in, on the level of roxacin uh, than the others. So this is, uh, once again, cytotoxicity in cultured corneal epithelial cells. Cultured corneal and epithelial cells, but uh, effects on corneal epithelial cell and calcite proliferation. So the, the, the experiment is a bit different, but this could say the level, once again, uh, is the lowest uh, cytotoxicity uh, as compared uh, to the three other fluoroquinolones. Well, once again, please take a look at the, this uh, the picture. The day zero, this is once again pseudomonas eugenosa. I'd like to use the, this uh, ocular uh, surface at uh, the picture because the pseudomonas is the most difficult to treat, at least for the, our the corneal uh, specialists. So therefore, but not only for the pseudomonas, all the other type of the, uh, the different kind of the bugs, the, the rebo is very sensitive. Uh, uh, to uh, that treat them. Day zero and day eleven. You could see uh, the 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 cornea. These cornea uh, uh, is healed, although there are some of the still the FTR defect, but the corneal infection site is already uh, managed quite properly, and then the visual acuity improved significantly. So this is one of the last slide for me. Uh, I haven't talked about the uh, endophthalmitis or the treatment of the endo endophthalmitis. Uh, there are two types of the endophthalmitis, uh, I would say the bugs related to the endophthalmitis. One is a commensal bacteria, including once again, uh, as I mentioned to you earlier, staph aureus, streptococcus pneumonia, enterococcus fecaris. So these are the three uh, major uh, category of the bugs. But the other part is environmental bacteria, Pseudomonas aeruginosa or Selatia. If the, there's a, some of the end of time might so occurred uh, uh, caused by Pseudomonas aeruginosa, the eye is already gone. So uh, we are very, very careful about uh, the which kind of uh, the topical uh, the uh, antimicrobial agent used for the prophylaxis. We use the uh, level of roxacin 1.5%, generally speaking, in Japan. So uh, once again, uh, thank you very much uh, for your kind attention.